Oh, we all ready to laugh. This bitch better be funny. What's good? What's good? What's good? Complete here, you know. I'm trying to get this on and popping. On and popping. You know how that go. But yo, being a comedian is really hard. And I'm starting to see that even more and more as I go on through life. You know, I seen Eddie Griffin at the airport one time, and I was like, yo, Eddie, yo, Eddie, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big fan. Big fan, because, you know, on, on his shows and shit, he be always, you know, putting me up on knowledge. You think he cool and all that, you know? So, I'm like, big fan, big fan. Yeah, you got any tips for me, you know? Keep trying. That's all he said. You know, his Eddie Griffin. Hey, keep trying. Man, I know that myself, motherfucker. <laughs> shit. He ain't telling me nothing, you know what I'm saying? But... It is what it is. You know, it's really hard doing that. You know, they got that that uh that tour going on with those those people. Uh, I forgot what it's called. The comedy tour or something. But Del Rey's in it. Del Rey, funny motherfucker, y'all. Yeah. But he's in it, you know what I'm saying? And they got a couple of other funny motherfuckers. And I never want to be in that part of the comedic, the comic swing where I get stuck with a bunch of, you know what I'm saying, bench players. You know what I'm saying? It's like... LeBron James getting a bunch of high school players. You already know how he cry about the players he with. You know what I'm saying? So he gonna be like, huh! You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's just how it's gonna go down. Like that. And so that's what's gonna happen to Delray. Because he a funny motherfucker, but the rest of them motherfuckers ain't that funny. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, by the time you get the hand, you're like, <laughs> man, we ready to go. You really got the drunk in. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that, though. I hope I don't, I hope I don't get to that. Word. You know, one thing I do like, I do hate, I hate arguing with Africans. I hate arguing with Africans because they say things that really fuck your life, really fuck your mind up. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck up the way you start thinking and look at things, right? Like, you get into a fight with an African, he'd be like, motherfucker, I will fuck you. Huh? Well, what? Nigga, what? Huh? That's right. That's right. I will, I will, I will hang you backwards. You know what I'm saying? Like, things they say is make you just not, not want to have any arguments with them because you don't know the problems that really come from Africans. Like, when you learn a little more English, we're going we gonna to get back at this, homie. Word is more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is how it is, you know? Like, fellas, honestly, that's that's another thing. I need, I'm going to need fellas to stop thinking you can control women. You can't control women. You know what I'm saying? You, oh, you give them the car, you give them the this, you give them the that. You try to put them on to the most, that ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? God gave them hair. He gave them eyebrows. For most of them. You know, some, some, you know, out here, clean shaves off. You know what I'm saying? Bald. You know what I'm saying? Some, some, you know what I'm saying? But that kind of takes away from the people that can really do that, right? You know what I'm saying? If God gave you hair and all of this, the people that he didn't give hair to, they're like, I really need that. Why are you doing this to me? Yo, I got stuff. Why don't you just live your own life? You know, it's like a person. Like, you ever been at a restaurant or something or on a cruise? And, you know, they serve something like they may serve turkey sausages or something. And the people who eat pork, let me get, let me get double 20. The pork could be done in a minute. I'm going to come back for that. Motherfucker, I don't eat pork. Could I get the turkey sausage? You know what I'm saying? It's a, you know what I'm saying? It's those people like that, you know? It's like this turkey bacon thing goes around. I don't eat turkey bacon, but when you smell it, it's like, man, that shit smell like bacon. I done cooked whole turkeys. I ain't never seen the bacon on a turkey I cooked. You know what I'm saying? You like, you got the little leg gobble gobble, you the legs and stuff and stuffing in and shit. Where the turkey come from? Where's the turkey part of the turkey? The turkey bacon part of the turkey. Where is that? Man, I'm, I'm real curious behind that. And that is all I'm saying, you know? It's like you be getting with some of these broads, you know what I'm saying? They say the weirdest shit to you, make you think, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the baddest bitch around. And then you be seeing the niggas that they fuck, and you be like, nah. <laughs> you bullshit. <laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> you, you shit. You should be a... Next show I do, you're going to open for me because you, you a funny motherfucker. <laughs> That's the nigga you was fucking? Now you want to be a... You know what I'm saying? Because it, be it be these chicks, they... They be fucking with these Oscar the Rouch looking motherfuckers who treat them like shit. 
Then they get with a king and they want to be treated like this. Like, I'm not saying you should. You should always treat a female good. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're right. You know what I'm saying? Well, who said that? Yeah, <laughs> motherfucker. Don't do that again. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But to each his own. On that note, you know, it is. It's just. It's just weird like that. Like, for example, like women have like intuition and things like that. Like, like my, like my woman. You know what I'm saying? She remind me of a fucking farm animal, for real. You know how when storms is coming and shit, they start acting crazy, running all around and shit. You know, she she she, she get these headaches and shit. And it's like right before a damn rainstorm, she get this badass headaches. She like, I feel the rain coming. Scared me to death. I'm going to sleep on the couch. You know, scared me fucked up because she's never wrong. I'm like, shit. What kind of you do you got going on? I don't want her to. Do it. You know, I wake up one night, she floating in the air like, ah, yeah, I ain't signing for this. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, this is, this, is, this is like weird shit like that, you know? Like, what you doing over there, my man? Sit your ass down. I ain't finished yet. You know what I mean? Man. Well, I'm getting to the funny part. Wait a minute. You know, but... A lot of things are like you, like we go on in the world and we believe in things that don't really happen. Like, for example, everybody thinks that the um, January 6th thing was a real thing. That didn't really happen. You know how I know it didn't really happen? Because nobody's really talking about it anymore. We still talking about 9 11. You know what I mean? I wonder about that stuff like that because. Think about people who went to the war, right? Like, how do you think they feel about things that move forward in generations? Because you got people who was in World War II, you know what I'm saying? Vietnam, things like that. Maybe a few of them still alive. And then they be hearing things like, like Desert Storm. Because I've seen that. I've actually seen a whole man get, it wasn't in no damn war. That was a fucking piggy bank. Like the shit old people say make you fucked up too. So I remember I was saying from Africans, some old shit they say too. I always thought that was a piggy bank. A piggy bank hot robbery or some shit. That I was like, huh. You was fighting toothpicks. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? It makes you think things like that. Like me, honestly, I'm, I'm envious to the generation now. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when I was young, you know, these generations, we've seen these kids go to school with slippers on and things like that. Man, I couldn't pull that off when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? First of all, they didn't have cool slippers like slides. They had the slipper with the, go through with the toe. You know what I'm saying? And you couldn't go to school like that. You know what I mean? But they wear these all off-brand shoes. You know what I'm saying? I remember this one time when we had the, the, the they really was called skips. And... They was on the table, they went skip, skippies, they cost a dollar ninety nine, skippies, they make your feet feel fine. See, we had jokes for things like that. You can't make jokes today because that's what they wear and they, they rocking them. They turn them into a style. I'm like, what rapper did that? What designer turned this into a style? Because when I was young, I got teased like a mother because I ain't have it. <laughs> so I had skips on, you know what I'm saying? Right on it, trying to change it around. Nah, nah, don't say kids, man. Them skips, man. Kids to skip too, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit like that, but it just changed. It's like snapping. You could snap back on the days. Back in the days, you know, you played the dozens of things like that. And you snapped on people you got on them. And it, it meant something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, to, like back in the days, you call a, a dude a faggot. That meant something. You know what I'm saying? Faggot. What? what, what? Uh, you, you hurt his feelings. Today, you'd be like, faggot. They'd be like, thank you. <laughs> The insult is just all out the window. You, it doesn't fit the same. You know what I'm saying? It's just real fucked up and shit like that. But, you know, I would like to give a shout out before I get off. I'd like to give a big shout out to Corey Holcomb, one of my favorite comedians. He'd be on, you know what I'm saying, the 5150 show. Man, go check him out. He's hilarious. Um, And Corey Holcomb, to me, personally, he's like... Not the king, but he's up there with one of them. He's up there with them. That is a funny dude, and just go check him out. Thanks a lot. My time.